Hey there, this is Akshit Mandan and welcome back to a new video of Matplotlib series and in this video we are going to continue with the series and we are going to see line plot. So in the last video we have seen the scatter plots where the data points were plotted uh, just like a, just like points, right? So they were just the scatters. But in this video we are going to see the line plots where your data points will not be just points, they will be connected using the line. So we are we are going to have such kind of plots that is your line plots right so let's see them let's see them so now let's continue with the code and first of all i'm importing all the important libraries that are mat.lib numpy and pandas without numpy and pandas you can't continue with machine learning and data science and matplotlib.pyplot is the class from where which we are going to use and we can't just use matplotlib.pyplot everywhere that's why we are importing it as plt i've explained it in my previous video videos also then I'm a dark theme lover, that's why I'm going to use plt.style.use dark background. That's why this thing, you just you can just ignore this line if you want to draw the white graphs. As you can see, my graphs are black, that's why, because of this line, right? Next thing, I'm going to define a data on which I'm going to plot the graph. That's why I'm defining this uh, data set of, uh, short data set of a class with roll numbers and marks of the students, right? It's just a linear data, that's why my graph is having linear thing. Now, how you can draw this line plot? So, you, for the line plot, we, can't, we don't have any special function. That's why we are going to use the plot function only. That is plt.plot, roll number and the marks. That is your x data and your y data. Let me use the pen That's so that you can have a good understanding. So, in plt.plot, as we have seen in the scatter plot also, you need to define your x data, you need to define your y data. Then you can define anything uh, related to your graph or any uh, speciality. That's why here I'm defining red and dash. So in the scatter plot, if you remember, we uh, gave this uh, thing as color and zero, oh, sorry, O. That defines circle. But here, as you can see, if there is no circle, there is a line. That's why we need to give the color and your dash. This represents that all your data points will be connected and they will be connected using a line. That's why. So this is the function, uh, plt.plot, x data, y data, and specialities, right? And then you need to define plt.show. That's why this function next thing as you can see in the output uh, it is my x data this is my y data y axis and this is the output line right so as you know that data set was linear that's a linear line i'm getting this red color is because of this r and dash means line next thing let's move on to the next thing next thing is you can define different different line styles so we are going to explore these line styles right so here I am not defining, you can just uh, ignore that R also, right? As you can see in my line style, I have ignored that R. That means no color, I don't want to give any special color. I just want to give the uh, default, right? So as you can see, I am giving dash. So this was a simple dashed line. This is called a dashed line. In the next thing, I am defining dash dash. That means my output will be dashed line. And one more thing I have defined, that is your... Um, hex codes color hex code right so here i'm defining the color 728569 you can just go on the net and explore the hex codes of different different colors and you can choose your favorite color right so this was your dashed line uh, and next thing is sorry this was my simple line and this is my dashed line i think i made a mistake there the next thing is your dotted line so for dotted line you need to define this colon and um, yes this is your colon you can't give a dot over there you need to define your colon for making the uh, dotted line then i'm defining the color as orange so as you can see the output the graph is uh, dotted and orange color graph right the next thing is uh, this this is the annotations i have given for solid line the simple dash dotted line colon dash line is two dashes then dash dot as you can see so it will show one dash one dot let me use it so that you don't get confused anywhere let me use it with dash and dot so if i run this so i think i have to run the kernel again uh, let's wait so here i have to use so by mistake i used an underscore i have to use a dash over here so dash and dot right so let's run it again so as you can see my graph is in the form of dash and dot dash and dot right so this was the significance of this line style. Now coming on to the next thing is we have seen this colon, right? And you can also give one line width, right? So this is the significance of this line width. Now let's run it. So 
as you can see my line width i defined it a little bigger that's why it is a thicker line and it is a colon uh, that means uh, as you can see in colon we defined uh, we got dots but here as my line width has increased so it will be like this only right so let me change it to let's say single dash now a single line will be drawn with this line width right like this so this was this, this was the significance of this line style and this line width so this totally depends upon your design knowledge you can just play with your plot function right now coming to the next thing how you can draw multiple plots on the same figure so we are going to we are going to make uh, line plots uh, two or more line plots on the same uh, graph right that's why i'm defining this uh, data set that is study hours of a student and it defines two hours three hours four hours whether the student studies for two hours three hours four like this it is like that and this is the marks that a student gets if he studies for this mark this hours respectively so if he is studying for 12 hours a day then he is getting 100 marks how he is studying for so much long time then after this i am defining this uh, pld dot figure and x ticks and y ticks i have already explained in my scatter plot video so i that's why i tell that you should follow a sequence of the videos right so x ticks and y ticks are just the um, uh, data that x and x axis and the y axis hold right so as you can see over here only so these 2 4 6 8 are, are are your x ticks and your 20 40 60 80 are your y ticks right simple then I, after this i am going to define this plot and it is it will be line plot that's a r and dash so let's run it x level and y level it is simple let's start from here let's run it it is run now uh, yeah let's run this so as you can see this is a simple line plot that i've got of marks versus study hours so this is my x data this is your x ticks so I have, uh, the, as you can see i have defined the x ticks from 0 to 15 with a gap of 1 and y ticks as 0 to 100 with a gap of 5 so same thing i'm getting 0 to 15 from with a gap of 1 and y ticks 0 to 100 yes yes with a gap of 5 so this was a significance and this is a simple line plot color is red dash means line plot next thing is i want to draw uh, as you can see that using the pill dot figure i can draw two or more graphs on the same plot that's why i'm going to uh, draw one line plot and one scatter plot so this thing also you can uh, do using the pill dot figure right so what i'm doing first of all i'm drawing the uh, line plot that same thing this plot and on the on this plot i'm going to draw the scatter plots the same data that is study hours and marks so what it will do it will go it is going to plot the scatters uh, or you can say the dots for these uh, points 2 comma 6 then 3 comma 10 then 4 comma 15 like this right so let's run this and it will be blue and z blue and o that means circles let's run it so as you can see red uh, line is there then on this the uh, scatter plots are there so that's a uh, very beautiful uh, that's a very beautiful graph right so you can see the plots uh, that points also here i was unable to differentiate where is my plot line but here i can see that this is my data point so this was a significance i think line plot this much is enough and if you have any doubts you can reach out to me on my telegram channel and till the next content keep coding keep learning and thanks a lot